What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, world? It's your boy Amp Dog with another episode of Politic and want to thank everybody for tuning in, showing your love, and uh, make sure you tell a friend or tell a friend. Big Amp Dog said, What's the deal? Today, we got a crazy story coming out of St. Louis where a man named Perez Reed, 26 years old, um, he's a suspected serial killer. He has finally been arrested. He's suspected of killing six people. Um, they believe, um, well, he's accused of killing six people and, and two and injuring two people. Um, they believe he was targeting women, um, presumably women that worked in uh, as sex workers. Um, and upon them actually uh, finding this man, they actually found the murder weapon that he was using, uh, that he used to kill four of the victims. And um, it is said that basically September 12th is when it all started. He had uh, shot a guy who was waiting on a, waiting for a bus multiple times in the chest. The man was left there with serious injuries and a permanent disability. So he was able to, to survive that. They said the very next day, Reed was accused of shooting Marnay Hayes at least two times in a distinctive manner, which killed her. Then they say another three days later, they say Reed shot a 28-year-old woman in the face uh, behind a building. Officers found her behind a gas station. Um, she wasn't able to speak, of course. She was shot in the face, but um, they were able to find the blood trail and actually found the spot of the shooting. And, you know, that's to recover the, the, the shell casings and things like that. And then they say within two hours, detectives in North St. Louis linked that same suspect to another woman's death who was 49 years old uh, she was found wounded lying on a sidewalk <clears throat> they then put out the the you know the safety the public safety alert to all sex workers to let them know that it's an unknown person out here targeting you know unsuspecting women um and then they say september 19th and this is crazy. This started on the 12th, so he's on the 19th. Uh, Reed is accused of murdering a 24-year-old woman who was shot in a vacant lot near the intersection of 15th in Malafi. Then, September 26, detectives identified a distinctive manner, <clears throat> a familiar distinctive manner while investigating the shooting death of Lester Robinson. They said basically the shootings had similarities to, to Mrs. Haynes. Uh, they said he then made his way to Kansas City where he killed 35-year-old Damon Irvine or Irvin on November 1st and then killed 25-year-old, I can't pronounce her name, Mrs. Farrell um, a day later. Both of them lived in the apartments uh, where the shooting death <clears throat> had occurred I'm gonna just say y'all can see the photo that I use uh, they got a special place for people like that and you know just because he looked the way he looked um, it doesn't give him any excuses you know so I, I hope um, justice could be served and we don't have to worry about um you know, people playing crazy just to be able to, you know, uh, avoid jail time because that to me is like the craziest thing is that a person can be so crazy that they can intentionally do certain things, but then when they come down for them to be held accountable or responsible, oh, they're not, they, they, nah, I say no. I say no, me personally. Um, so they got evidence, all kind of evidence. <clears throat> They actually got a surveillance video from the apartment building and a still photo <clears throat> that showed a man with the crescent tattoo, that little half moon on his, in between his forehead, uh, actually matched the booking photo that they had of him from a previous arrest. Uh, surveillance video October 28th reportedly showed Reed and Urban entering the apartment building together. The duo went into Urban's apartment 
around 11.15 p.m. that night, just after 6 a.m. the following morning, Reed left Irvin's apartment alone. <clears throat> and that was the 35-year-old man. A security guard at the Kansas apartment complex um, basically said that, you know, I guess you got to, in order to enter, you probably got to show some type of ID. Um, and they said that he presented uh, Mr. Perez Reed, this guy in the photo right here, he pre presented his driver's license. And then that's when they were able to, you know, see phone records matched. Um, him calling that guy between that time and that time. And um, <clears throat> basically after they seen him leaving, he's never reached out to him again. And then, like I said in the beginning of the video, once he was finally apprehended and arrested, he actually had the murder weapon. So um, to me, it just seemed like he was just going on a rampage and... I'm sure people in that community were definitely scared and probably um, stressed out because I could imagine, you know, um, you're not knowing what this person's motive is, why they choose to do what they do. Um, and then most people, you would see somebody like that and you would try to avoid a person like that. But then it seems like he's just going up to unsuspecting people and it don't seem like he's crazy. It just seemed like he 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 had his hair like that for a reason. I feel like he's playing a, 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 a role. I don't know. I don't know this man, but it, to me, it don't seem like uh, anybody that 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 could do the things he do. And then looking the way he look, he fit the he fit the description. I hate using that term, but he does. Uh, so anyway. He'd been charged with two counts of first-degree murder, one count of first-degree assault, and three three counts of armed criminal action, um, which is, I guess that stems from him actually traveling uh, with a, a firearm um, <clears throat> that was used in commission of a crime. Um, but, yeah, he, he basically admitted to knowing certain people. Uh, he did admit that he gave his driver's license to the security guard, which, to me lets me know that you want to get caught, you know, probably more than likely, you know, but he did also deny that he, he didn't hurt anybody. He said he didn't hurt anybody. So this is just one of them things where, um, <clears throat> you, you got to do more than just say you didn't hurt anybody. You got to explain why you have a weapon that was used to kill four people. Um, you know, a lot of things like that, you know, you got to explain why you and this man can walk up, uh, to his home and then, you know, uh, and what they say was at about 11.15 p.m., and then you leave his house just after 6 a.m., you know. So it's a lot of things that you just got to be able to be that missing piece to the puzzle that they're going to need to be able to put the real person who did it away if you're not it. But I'm sorry, brother. You look like something out of a... Ah, never mind. I don't want to roast him. But, yeah, y'all go ahead and... uh. Drop y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all think about this Dragon Ball Z character. Um, is he Super Saiyan or is he going to be Super Saiyan trying to play in the court, try to act like he's, you know, not mentally capable of withstanding trial, which I always would say somebody like him. Um, if anything, we should do the right thing and just go ahead and, and save some of these tax dollars. And just send him where he he rightfully he want to go there. Clearly, he doing all the stuff that he did. He want to get there. So why we don't just just send him on his way down to that little place that's real hot all year round. It's getting a little nippy out here now. So you know you ain't got to worry about your jackets, your scarves, your beanies, your gloves. You could just be right there in that spot, and it's a constant hot like you know. I think I think hell beats jail for people like him. You know, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, though. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Big M Dog said, what's the deal? Peace.